Okay. Real one? Yeah. All right. uh, my name's Brady Fitzgerald. I'm a lieutenant with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Okay, uh, Lieutenant, just tell us what happened here. At approximately 7.30 p.m., deputies with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office were dispatched to this location, the 6500 block of College Park Drive. It was originally dispatched as a uh, suicide in progress. Uh, when deputies arrived, they discovered a male and female on the, uh, the uh, parking lot, in the parking lot of the dispatch location. Uh, both of them had what appeared to be uh, gunshot wounds. Uh, the male was pronounced deceased at the scene. The female was rushed to a hospital, a local hospital, where she was later uh, pronounced deceased. Who initiated this? So the uh, suicide is the male? Uh, later, uh, detectives have discovered that apparently the female and the male are, have just been recently separated. They arrived at this scene location to exchange children. And uh, at some point after a conversation, the male had turned the gun on the female, shot her, and then reportedly turned the gun on himself and took his life. So the children, um 11 and 14, they saw this. I don't have the ages of the children, but the okay. children were on location when the uh, incident did occur. All right. Now, is this, uh, in your investigation, do you find that this was a normal meeting spot for them to, I guess, exchange the children? Were the children with dad or mom at first? The detectives are investigating that now. They don't have all the information. The primary information is what I just told you in reference to what we know why they were here. So were the children with mom and they, she, they were meeting dad here? The initial information we have is the children were actually with the father. They were meeting at this location to exchange the children at this location. Do we know what led up to the dad wanting to um, pull out the gun and, and, and shoot himself and then end up shooting? Did an argument ensue or did something happen here in the parking lot? The, the, the uh, investigation is still preliminary. That's what the detectives and crime team investigators are trying to discover at this time. So. How is the wife doing? The wife was pronounced deceased at the hospital. So. Okay, so um, both of them are. Yes, dead sir. The, now. the male at the location was pronounced deceased at the location. The female was rushed to a hospital. Uh, life saving right. measures were attempted, but were unsuccessful. Successful. Which Thank hospital you. they go to? I do, I'm not really sure right now. It's one of the local hospitals I was advised. The next of kin been notified on both of those? Um, right now, they're in the, some of the next of kin has been notified, not all the next of kin, and they're in the process of doing that now, the characters. They're a local couple, they live around here. I don't have that information at this time. These folks that were over here and they were um, listening to a couple officers, you know, do you know if they were related to um, either one of the two that were? They were the mother and father of one of the deceased subjects at the location. Gotcha. Uh, do you know how long they had been separated or divorced? Do you, do we you? don't have that information. That's still preliminary. It's preliminary investigation at this time. Gotcha. Do you have any, any other identifiers you'd be able to give us, any age or anything for the two? Yeah. Deceased? Not at this time until I'll, we have a chance to advise the family members and then okay. we'll release that information. Okay. All right. Where are you going?
Radio Hill just showed up. Oh, That's him right there. The mm-hmm. Thank you.